2y for x in equation 2. Now, this is 7 minus 2y. This is x. I have theory. Where there is x, I will place 7 minus 2y here. Then here I have minus 2y is equal to minus theory. So from here, I will simplify. 3 times 7 is 21. Minus 3 times 2y is minus 6y. Then here we have minus 2y is equal to minus 3. So this is going to be 21 minus 6y minus 2y is going to be minus 8y is equal to minus 3. So I have to collect like things right here. So this will be minus 8y in my left hand side. Then in my right hand side, I have minus 3. So if this 21, this 21 that I see here, crossover, it will become minus 21. So what I'm going to have is this. I'm going to have something like this. This will be minus 8y. Minus 3 minus 21 will be minus 24. Now for y to stand alone, I will divide both sides by what? Minus 8. I'll divide it by minus 8 and here by minus 8. So minus 8 will cancel out minus 8, leaving with just y. Then minus 8 will divide minus 24. Take note that we have minus and minus sign right here. So this is going to be what? Positive theory. Now we have got y as 3. The next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to substitute uh, uh, 3 for y in equation 3. Because I'm looking for x, I've got in y, and I know that x is 7 minus 2y. I will now replace this y that is here with this 3. So it means that I'm going to uh, substitute, substitute uh, 3 for y in equation 3. Now, the equation 3 is x equal to 7 minus 2y. It's going to be x equals to 7 minus 2. Where there is y, I will place 3 right there. It's going to be x is equal to, this will be 7 minus 2 times 3 will be what? 6. Then x is equal to 1. So we have found out that x is 1 and y is what? Uh, y is 3. Now, I'm going to check if this value 1 and 3 satisfy this equation. Now, I'm going to say, okay, x is 1. So I will replace this x with 1. We have plus 2y. Then yeah, y is what? Y is 3. So that is 3. So it's going to be 1 plus 2 times 3 is 6. So this is 1 plus 6, 7. Then here we have 3. x is 1 plus, sorry, minus. Then this is 2. y is what? 3. So this is 3 times 1, 3. Then this is minus 6, 3 minus 6. That is going to give minus 3. So it means that this value 1 and 3 satisfied this equation. Now, I'll move on to the second 